In this video, we'll identify the type of reaction for K2CO3 plus HCl. This is potassium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. When we look at this, it seems like it might be a double displacement reaction. Potassium, that's positive. We have our positive hydrogen ion. They could switch places, and that would be double displacement. The potassium would be with the chlorine, which we see, but then the hydrogen and the carbonate ion, that doesn't happen over here. So as written, this is not a double displacement reaction. What makes this complicated is this is actually two reactions. Initially, we don't end up with carbon dioxide and water. First, we're going to get carbonic acid. So let's write that in. We have H2CO3. So this reaction happens first, and this is a double replacement reaction. Potassium switches places with the hydrogen. So now we have potassium chloride here. The hydrogen, that goes with the negative carbonate ion, H2CO3. This is a double displacement reaction. Once that happens, this H2CO3, this carbonic acid, it breaks down. And it breaks down into carbon dioxide and water. So that's decomposition. One substance goes to two. So we have two reactions. The first, potassium carbonate plus HCl, double displacement, KCl plus H2CO3. The second reaction is the decomposition where the carbonic acid it breaks down. If you need help balancing this equation, it's not balanced right now, there's a link in the description. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for K2CO3 plus HCl, potassium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.